Look at this lovely weather. It is beautiful, just like summer. So it is fight week tomorrow. Um, had today of training, so I just went for a nice little run. Um, had our last sparring session yesterday. We had an important spot of load of pros with Ben. Ben's looking absolutely on fire. Yeah, the whole team's fucking. The whole team is buzzing. So yeah, next Saturday is going to be a gleaming day. So yeah, fight week tomorrow. I'm just coming down to. I'm in Hammersmith now. I'm gonna go and meet a few of the boys and watch the um, Oxbridge Regatta. So yeah, keep you posted for that. Look at this beautiful weather. Scenes up in London. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. So excited for summer. And exactly a month today, I fly to the Philippines. In Thailand, now that is going to be gleaming. Interesting attire. <laughs> My man's got nipple tassels. So now it's a game of Where's Wally? There's a white tent. I was told to aim for by my friends. We said by the river. Down by the river! Look at that massive bonds. I can see that a mile away. Look at the size of your head! <laughs> Check this out, tropical roots, eh? So I sacked off getting the salad. I went to Tesco and made my own. So I'm gonna show you what the lights out artisan and salads look like. True game changing. And this is it. King prawn salad. Woo! I got them on sale from Tesco. They're meant to be six pound, down to 150. A load of lettuce, cucumber, all you need, and carrot. Oh. Coming up to the bridge. Oh my bridge! That was the end of that one. Hey, so that was the Oxbridge boat race. Mega fun. Joking. It was alright. It, um, it was a good little event actually. It was really, really busy as you saw. I underestimated how busy it would be. I didn't realise it. it was like an international event and it was like all over TV. It was, yeah, madness. Um, there must have been thousands of people down by that riverside. It was, yeah, the atmosphere was buzzing actually and made so much better by this lovely weather. Can't beat it. Cannot beat it. I'm so excited for summer as I keep saying but now in England, um, we'll have this. This will probably stop tomorrow and then we won't see it till next year. What can you do, eh? What can you do? Anyway, so um, we saw um, yesterday at the boat race was I was looking around a few of those um, the food stalls and the thing was, the portion sizes were tiny. For the amount that you're paying for them, I would not have been satiated and when you're at events like that I think it all comes down to satiation um, so that's basically your feeling of fullness <laughs> um, yeah so basically you need to be when whenever you're eating you want to feel as full as possible nice little house in the background my beautiful garden um, and for me I'm very much a volume eater so when I'm eating I like to have lots more food and it makes you feel full so to get that and not put on weight, what I do is opt for things like lots of veggies, fruits and salads because you can have an absolute hell lot of food at minimal, minimal calorie cost. Therefore, you're going to be a lot more satiated. Well, I will. I'll be a lot more satiated um, and I'm not going to put on, put on weight. When you think about, I can, like that, so the size of that salad was pretty dense. I literally nipped round to Tesco, um, went into the reduced section, there was a big thing of um, jumbo prawns, 
They cost like 125, reduced down from seven quid, and they were absolutely beautiful. Just got a big head or ball of lettuce or whatever it's called, um, and some cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, and some carrot. Just mashed it all up and just stuck it in like I took one of their little salad bowl things um, and just threw it all in there. And voila, ate myself more than happy. Um, and put it all together and all my friends were just like, actually, yeah, that looks gleaming. And saved myself um, about five quid because that all together cost about five pounds. And I've got a whole free range chicken that was reduced down to like three quid. Winning, see? Um, but anyway, yeah, so all those, all those factors come into play. So I saved myself money. Yeah, I, I had to go out of my way a little bit. I had to go around, around the corner um, an extra like five minutes. Um, but by the time they'd have prepped my food, made it, um, and finished off queuing, it probably all worked out like quite even. Um, so when you're going, it's, it's about making like some, I would say pragmatic, but sometimes thinking outside the box can get you much better results, can get you much more satisfying results. Because I mean, for those salads at the, um, that, what was it called, Radical Roots? I keep calling it Tropical Roots on the thing. Like a idiot. Um, yeah, out of those radical roots, they were, I think it was seven pound for a, for a chicken salad. And for an extra two pounds, you'd get a bit more chicken. Um, but when you actually look at the portion sizes, it was about including the extra chicken, including the extra two pound seven chicken, you probably got about 200 grams, so about three quarters of a chicken breast, which is absolutely tragic. And like I say, that would not fill me up. And I would have ended up in about an hour's time needed more food. Um, it's end up in that spiral, it's end up like just spunking out money and it's just ridiculous. Like, nah, it's just not worth it. Just go out my way. Um, just got, like I say, got all those sadly bits, I like, just threw them in my bag. And then if I got hungry, I had a whole cucumber, more cherry tomatoes and things that I could just nibble on as, as I'm going around. Send myself a lot of money and a lot of time. Um, and on top of that, when you're in those sorts of situations, especially if you're drinking, I wasn't because I'm obviously only a few days out from a fight now. Um, if you're drinking, then you've got to really take into consideration calories because we all know when it comes to losing weight, gaining weight, whatever, when it comes to weight, um, it, calories are king. It's all about energy balance equations. So you want to burn more calories than you're consuming. Alcohol has seven calories per gram. If you're having things like beers, um, wines, which is pretty much what everyone was living off there, beers, wines and ciders, um, then they're very highly calorific drinks. I think each pint's about 180 calories on average. Um, so you need to take that into, into consideration. So when you're eating, you want to look for more volume and minimal calorie cost. So what I was just explaining about salads and veggies, that's where those things are king. And one thing you need to take into consideration when it comes to drinking alcohol is acetate is a byproduct of alcohol. So when you drink, your body will prioritise getting rid of that toxin because it's, it's a toxin that breaks your body down. Um, so it's like a poison. So your body will literally prioritise um, breaking that down and getting that out of your body so it will therefore put anything you eat on top of that just on the back burner so it's a lot more likely to be stored as fat so if you're eating highly fatty and highly calorific foods um high carby foods as well then that there's a much higher um higher chance that that is just going to get stored as fat um, so when you're drinking, aim for higher protein, lower fat, lower carb. So just literally, it's like chicken salads, chicken veg. Yeah, it's not necessarily glamorous, but at the same time, you take, you got to make sacrifices. And if you want to have a good night on the lash, then yeah, make the sacrifices, enjoy the beers. One thing I will say is people get really scared about um, being judged by their friends. Everyone thinks that because you're having a salad, that you're some sort of gimp or you're some weirdo. And that's not the case. Yeah, don't get me wrong, your friends will take the mick out of you. But your friends take the mick out of you for, for no matter what you do. I mean, your friends will take the mick out if you beat them all at a, a rib eating contest or something. Your friends are your friends. They're always just going to, like, take the piss out of you. It's banter, isn't it? That's what you do. Don't worry about um, these little preconceived misconceptions or anything like that. Just do what you got to do. If, if people are judging you because you're eating a salad, then really, do you know what I mean? There's, there's more to life than worrying about what you're eating. Um, and at the end of the day, they're probably just looking to health shame you because they're fat. So fuck them. Laugh at them. <sighs> when you can rig out.
Do you know what I mean? It's just jealousy in the, the day. And the fact is, salads don't taste bad. Like, salads are gleaming. Like, you can be more creative with salads. Yeah, if you're just eating lettuce leaves, a bit of cucumber and chicken, it's pretty dry, it's pretty bland, it's pretty boring. Get creative, it's nice and colourful. Get beetroot, all that sort of stuff. Peppers and la 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 la. And mix it up, make it fun. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to, um, to eat healthy, you don't have to eat boring. It doesn't work like that. And as like I say, when, when you're eating, everything's in moderation. You can have burgers, you can have chips and still get shredded. Trust me, Sunday I'm having a naughty sized pizza. And everyone loves pizza, everyone loves burgers. Learn to cook, make your own. Anyway, I'm going to go into a little rant there, so I'm going to stop it. So yeah, just when you're out and about, just make um, wiser food choices. Especially if you're drinking, you need to be very rigid on your diet. It's just one of those things. You've got to make sacrifices in life if you want to look good. Anyway, peace.